As many of you know, I was kidnapped in Haiti for 17 days. This is every moment leading up to my kidnapping, including a near fatal car crash, crossing the border during a time where it was closed, and exploring the north side of Haiti before my last piece of recorded footage prior to my kidnapping that you've probably seen on the news. This is everything you need to know about Haiti. I'm Arab. I spent my early 20s locked in my room as a professional gamer. I quickly noticed my life passing me before my eyes. Now, I spend my time exploring the globe's most dangerous and undocumented places because riding the line of death is where I feel most alive. Hello there. Hey, Sean. Uh, I had a question on, on leaving Haiti. How am I going to leave Haiti? If there is any flight before you leave, there will be a flight. If there is no flight, we'll drive you back to um, uh, 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 Carpation and you will stay there for a day and then the next morning, I'll have Moses take you back to the um, to uh, the border, and with the, you want, I want you to keep in touch with the same driver. If not, we'll get you a driver from Dominican Republic to take you back. Cool. We'll be able to land an interview with the guy, right? Uh, with, which guy? The barbecue. The driver. Oh, of course. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. So we'll see. We'll see the. We'll see the gangs in Port-au-Prince, and then we'll go do that stuff with barbecue. Yeah. Yes, of course. In in the hub where he's like protected, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that would be so good. That would be so good. Nice. Okay, I'm in for it. I'm gonna book right now. I'm mentally locked in. All right. Looking forward to see you. All right. Looking forward to see you, Sean. Sounds good. Looking forward to see you. All right. I'm going to fucking Haiti. <laughs> I'm going to Haiti. <laughs> I might die. All right, I just arrived in Dominican. It is four in the morning. In about four hours exactly, I have to take a two and a half hour road trip to the border. So we're going to go book a hotel just for three hours of sleep. And we're going to get on moving. I'm quite fucking tired, but four countries in one day, in under 24 hours, that's what it takes to get to Haiti. So that's my taxi at 5.30 in the morning. I was asleep in the passenger seat on my way to the border, and uh... I wake up to a massive crash. Luckily, I'm okay, but this just means we have a long day ahead of us. I uh, got some minor bruising. Nothing crazy, but I think that means God's watching over me this trip. Still a long way to go, boys. Check that out. No, no, tú, tú no eres, no. Uh, check that out. Again, checked out in the back of the ambulance. Wow, really just another sign that God is watching over. Seriously, guys. It's 5.30 in the morning in the middle of the bumfuck Dominican Republic. Is bueno? We're good. Just some uh, some seatbelt pain, but everything's fine. Modern technology, God, all of it together. All right, the Haitian border is about two to five minutes away from where we're at right now. No, it's aquí. No, it's okay. okay. The Haitian border is about two minutes away from where we're at right now. We're meeting our connect, and he's gonna pick us up right there. I'm on the back of a motorcycle. That's how deep we are in the countryside. My taxi is a motorcycle. He's got my bag here on the front. Got my bag on the back. Yeah, we out here, brother. We out here. <laughs> Uh, now I'm waiting for my connect at the border here. It's protected by uh, military right there. A lot of Haitians trying to get into the Dominican or back to Haiti. It's crazy. I'm the only white guy here. But check this bruise from the accident. It had time to uh, gather. Not too bad. God's protecting me for sure. I'm ready. I'm ready to document Haiti. Oh, yeah, I'm getting interviewed. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, my God. Sí, hola, buenos días. 
español. Sí, pero yo soy de Estados Unidos. Y, y entonces, viene saliendo de Haití. ¿no? Yo voy a Haití porque quiero uh, aprender cómo uh, hacer en Haití. Cómo... Pero la situación está un poco dura. ¿no? La situación es muy peligrosa, pero yo no pienso. Yo pero en, entender y mira con mi, mis ojos. Yo espero que Haití mejore la situación. Que mejore la situación en Haití. Sí. Espera eso. No entiendo. ¿qué? Espera que mejore la situación en Haití. Mejor la situación. Que, 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 que cambie. Sí, es mejor en todo el mundo. Una situación muy peligrosa. Hola. Sí. Dominicanos. Árabe. Árabe. Mi nombre es árabe. No, no, no. Sí. Sí, árabe. Árabe en YouTube. Yo soy un youtuber famoso. Okay. Hey. Alright. Let's go to the fucking border. <laughs> Got a bunch of trucks here on my left and right. Ah, uh, this is the border in front of me. Haitians with boxes on their head, yelling. Everyone's carrying shit on their head. Maybe I should carry some shit on my head too. Hola. Uh, mi amigo es aquí para hablar con una persona. ¿Usted va hacia allá? Uh, ¿Qué? ¿Para dónde usted va? Hey. A uh, Haití. Hey. A uh, Haití. Tiene que pasar migración. I'm trying to get through by definitely not bribing, just by speaking to them. But the issue is it's difficult to pull it off because there's about fucking 20 journalists that are asking questions all in your face, like. Why do you need so much info from me? Who the fuck are you? So it's very difficult to speak to the immigration officer who, you know, I need to talk to. So I've just been kicked out from the border. The border is right there. Some dude literally grabbed my passport, pointed at all the soldiers and said, don't let him in. I thought my connects had it all sorted out. Now I'm just sitting here waiting for something to happen. Just hanging out at the border, boys. Went through a fucking car accident for this and three different flights. You know, if I can't get in, well, fuck, at least I tried. I've been stuck here for about an hour. We're trying to figure out what's going on. But it's not looking too hot. We're trying every possible solution. I'll keep you guys updated. We're still trying to figure out the situation across the border, so we stopped at a restaurant. I got three dudes sitting on a fence on my left that are just asking me for to fund them. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo te llamas? Ben Till. Steven. ¿Te llamas Steven? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? 21. ¿Tú hablas qué lengua? No. Eh, ¿Tú hablas francés? Sí, sí. sí. ¿Tú eres de Haití? Sí. ¿Tú también? No. ¿Dominicano? ¿Hablas español? ¿No hermanos? No. Ah. ¿Y la dominicana? ¿Qué Ok. ¿Qué te quieres? Dude, they're speaking three languages right now. I'm so lost. We got like a bit of English, some Spanish, some French. There's. Je ne parle français. He wants para comer. If he wants food, I'll buy him. Tú quieres comer, yo para cambiar. Para cambiar. Il ne veut pas de de la nourriture. Il veut un peu d'argent. I don't understand a word you just said. No entiendo. Why? 
Para cambiar, para cambiar. Para cambiar. Exacto. Sí. ¿Cuánto? Pesos. Dólar. Pesos en... <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> like, where am I going to get that? I need to get across the border. Ayúdame para voy a Haití y yo pagar. Said if he helps me get across the border, I'll, I'll give him money. He's coming up with a random excuse. He, he needs, first he needs money for food, then he needs money for clothes, then he needs money to change some other stuff. It's quite an intense situation right now, guys. Para ti. Mmm. Got some rice, chicken. Como si so frijoles. I give them money and they're not going away. The things I do to get you guys YouTube videos. At least the fried chicken's decent. So check this. I don't have my passport. My bags are now gone. I've been sitting at this restaurant for about an hour. I got orders to send my bags first, which makes sense. Hola. Hola. <laughs> and then I'm going to follow. Ciao. And then I'm going to follow. So the connect has gone through and I think we're finally getting through. I've been here since about 10 and it's uh, 1 p.m. These are the things we go through for a YouTube video. You guys just see it come up, but boy, we out here. I'm honestly speechless. It's just been a, it's been a very, very long day. Check this bruise. Check that. Yeah, quite rough. Quite rough. All right, so we got an update. I got a Haitian hustler in front of me. You can just tell by the way he's dressed, but he's the final connect who's gonna take me over. You can just tell he's a hustler. You know, born in the situation, figured out a way to make more money, which would be helping people cross through payment. Not that I would participate in that ever, nor would I do that for a video in the name of journalism. But look at this swag. Look at this swag, bro. He's got a watch. He's got like three gold chains. He's got a beanie. Speaking Creole and French. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling, taking orders right now. My batteries are weak. All my all my power banks have ran out, and uh, we're running low. So I'm trying to. I don't know. I'm speechless. I'm just watching. This guy literally looks like a Nigerian scammer, but he's not. He's a Haitian hustler. Don't get it twisted. In my cabeza? How do I look? So I'm now being smuggled on the back of a bike. Huh? Yeah. 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 Bueno. Yeah. Ah, no grabar? Yeah, I can grabar. Ah, grabar es bueno? Yes. Nice. Okay. I'm being smuggled. De donde? El Capotello. Calle Capotello. Capotello. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Um, como 45 minutos. 45? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so... Tú vas a sentar un ching, un ching y va a buscar la otra amigo mío que va junto conmigo. Okay, so we're going to a different border spot. Yeah. We're going right now through uh, the city of... Uh, Diabon. Yeah. And my money and my entire bag is already in Haiti. Yeah. It's not with me. It's in the hands of the guy who's supposed to take me across the border. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I have like 5k cash that is in my possession. My laptop, my SD cards. Everything is not in my possession right now. So. No idea. No, la calle capotillo, Michelle. Boko to rice in your banana. Oh, you want me to change clothes? Yeah. Really? So this is so fucking sketch. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. I'm not making me laugh. I'm wearing a disguise okay. now. Okay. What's that? 
Take any basura or to yeah. You bring it with me. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Or is it trash? Oh, trash. Trash? I have to throw this away? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the clothes I like, man. Guys, I'm speechless. I actually have no idea what to say. I'm so tired. I haven't slept. Okay. So no disguise. Yeah. Or we're going to a different border. This is this is actually quite intense. Quite an adventure. If I wasn't so tired, I'd probably be excited right now. I've never crossed the border like this. But if we do make it in, we got big plans, boys. Big plans. A lot goes into these videos that you guys don't, don't think about. Look at that little dog. You know, if you don't think all this effort is worth a subscription to Arab Uncut for $9.99, I mean, there's just really no other YouTuber bringing you this kind of content. Sorry, with all due respect, there just isn't. For the price of two or three McDonald's cheeseburgers, you can keep funding these kind of adventures to see the real world raw and unfiltered. Currently being smuggled across the Dominican-Haitian border, baby. This is the craziest shit I've ever done, probably. This might be more intense than the cartel. I feel like Lord Miles right now. Guys, I'm in a rooster farm on the border of Dominican and Haiti. Guys looking at me right now. Don't know what the plan is. I'm practically speechless, honestly. Like, I'm trying not to speak too much to attract too much attention. But I'm just trying to go in and, and really document what's going on in Haiti. Um, a lot of loopholes have gone through. Like I said, my suitcase with about $6,000 US cash, my laptop, my SD cards, my, my hard drives, my everything that I need to travel is already across the border. Now I have to go meet up with the Connect so that we can drive. I know I'm repeating a lot of shit. My mind is just not working. It's fried from the accident earlier. I'm sure you guys probably understand. I don't know where I am right now. I'm trusting six random dudes um, who all have control of my money. Uh, just so I don't get robbed along the way. It's really a confusing situation. First time out of all these adventures that I'm really speechless. Dog, this is straight out of a fucking murder movie. I don't even know this guy's name. Thirty minutes. We gotta walk through the jungle to get to Haiti. What have I gotten myself into? This is insane. He forgot where we're going. No, it's difficult. No. Uh, Guys, I'm getting smoked right now. He's walking way faster than me. I am not built to be an illegal immigrant. Guys, after this, I'm done for a while. No more, no more of this intense shit. 
bunch of cows. Man, we've been walking for about 20 to 30 minutes now. We got about another 10 to 15 to go. This feels illegal, but we're going into Haiti. And there's no real law in Haiti. So is it technically? Right, I'm being too loud. I'm gonna put these cameras away. Just feels like it's never gonna fucking end. It's been 30 minutes now. Endless grassland and mountains. I'm fucking exhausted, man. Miles and miles of vast grassland. Guys, I actually can't believe it's not done yet. We've been going for so fucking long. I think this is the end. Never mind, I take it back. It is not the end. Look at my shirt. I'm sweating bullets. Look at my shorts. Stuck with thorns, my shoes, my socks, my legs. They're all fucked up. What the fuck? No more smoking. SIT? SIT. SIT. Yes, IT? The IT? Las personas? IT. No seguridad, see? What? Okay. No, no, no. I see you. I'm gonna give away these shoes. I'm gonna give away these shoes to one Arab Uncut subscriber who subscribed at the end of this series. What the? The border of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Magnificent. How good is this CGI that we can recreate this in a studio? And you guys thought, this whole hike was real. I've been trying to practice my acting skills. Let me know in the comments what you guys think out of 10 with my acting skills. Whew. Bunch of bull behind me getting angry. Let's just be clear. If there were lions along this route, you guys would think I would get eaten first. But I have that lion's main energy. I would let my hair down, I'd look the lion in the fucking eyes, and I'd go, Ello es más rápido. He's faster. Pero, yo soy un león. I'm a lion. And as long as you say it with conviction, confidence, the lion's not gonna fuck with you. Hola. 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 Es 100 dólares. Bueno. Gracias. Gracias. Gotta show some love around here. That goes a long way for a family here in Haiti. And it's only 10 Arab uncut subscriptions. Okay. That bill right there. Hola. Tu parles français? High five! <laughs> I think they're afraid of a fucking white man, to be honest. Pretty simple life out here in the Haitian countryside. 
on the frontier of Haiti. What I was saying is that hundred dollars is only ten Arab Uncut subscriptions. Ten of you watching right now. If you're watching when this video comes out, there's probably about five thousand of you watching at the same time. If ten of you subscribe to Arab Uncut, you just help support more of that when we go to countries like this and help give out money. And I know a big topic on this channel because of the places we go is how poverish a lot of these places are. I don't think this is really considered poverty. I think this is quite a good life. I mean, aside from the country's turmoil of not being able to afford food and water sometimes, which is big, I know. The housing is not too bad. And the life with cows and stuff. Bueno, aquí teléfono. Ah, tú también? Sí. Cuatro? No hay problema. No, no hay problema. Bueno. Hola, amigo. There's some border patrol that we just passed. They were in the bush. I lowered the camera. Hopefully they don't stop us. Hola! This is by far the stupidest thing I have done in my entire life. Maybe worse than the cartel. A lot of random villages here in the countryside. Oh. Moise? No. Oh, vamos. Hola. Oh, man, I know. Amigo. Gracias. Gracias por todo. Mucha. Yo no mira. Yo no. Yo no mira tú en mi vida, sí. Gracias por todo. Tú eres un animal fuerte. Ese fuerte. Okay. You can go in the go in the car. All right. In the front. In the back. Oh, my bags are here. Nice. I paid the motorbike. Nice. Wait, are you Moise? No. You're Moise, yeah? I'm Moise. Oh, okay, Moise. Nice That's to meet me. you. That's me. What a fucking legend. <laughs> Woo. You know, nice to be in you your know custody. What, I, what I'm doing? You yeah, I'm you're... take one motorbike again. I to, don't hear your voice. I'm go inside. The woman let me go inside. Really? Uh huh. I'm go take. I'm take motorbike to go f try to find you. Oh they, really? Someone tell me. Don't worry. You are gonna be okay because you. I, I don't understand your voice. Oh yeah, it's you difficult. Talk, you talk. You talk so slowly. I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Your guys are good guys. Mm -hmm. Take care of me. No. What's his name? Everybody know me, but I don't know. I don't know nobody and the and the and the border. Oh, really? Me. some uh, soldiers they know me and they would. we're okay they know you yeah uh-huh they know me and they would because you see that's my world right I'm travel from Dominican Republic to right. Haiti every time yeah today has just been a crazy day <laughs> no sleep flight delayed car accident smuggled across the border just mad oh we're in fucking Haiti we are in fucking Haiti. All right, we're finally stepping out. Check this. We have a fruit stand here selling bananas. But we have goats in the middle of the street. And we got kids filling up water. Kids are filling up water here in Haiti behind me in the manual pump. Yo, yo, yo. Let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. You're not pouring water? Good afternoon, sir. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, come on, don't waste water. 
Vous parlez créole Ok. Vous parlez créole Tu parles français Moi Créole Oui, je parle créole. Oui. Euh, je parlais anglais. Anglais. Je parlais anglais, espagnol, euh, français un peu. Ne parlez créole. Ok <rire> Comment tu t'appelles Jojo Vinson. Jojo Vinson. Comment tu t'appelles Jaoudle. 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 Comment tu t'appelles Zelay Jecha. Zelay Jecha. <rire> tu Charles Hector. Bueno. Tout classe et famille. Ok, ok. Tu Camera. Bueno. Oh. Woo. I need that. I need that fresh water. It smells very metallic. Uh, uh, merci. Hi. Selling popcorn here. Popcorn, cigarettes, some uh, some candies. I'm getting laughed at by all the Haitian kids. <laughs> Guys, we're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I'm gonna be honest right now. We're headed to meet my journalist friend who's gonna take us to some of the nice parts. I wanna show you guys the bruises. Now that it's established a little bit more, check that. That's the bruise from the accident earlier today. Ain't that mad. What I will say is that I am the only white man that I have seen in the last hour. I know you guys are gonna comment, oh, but you're not white. In Haiti, I am fucking white. Hello. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Uh, je parle français un peu. Oui. Un peu. Uh, uh, primero, primero? No, español. Ah, sí, español. ¿Tú español? Sí. Ah, primera vez en Haití. Primera Hoy. vez que tú venís para acá. Hoy, primera vez. Ok. Sí. Ah, uh, buscar el país. Ah, sí. ok. Está bien. Eh, sí, y voy a Cap, uh, Cap de Haití. Cap de Haití. Uh -huh. Y Porta Prince. Porto Prince. Sí, Porto Prince. Y quiero buscar todo ah. Haití. Tu Sí, uh, uh, soy un youtuber. Ok, está bien sí. eso. Hola. Ok, está bien. Gracias. Bye bye. Uh, ¿Cómo tú. Uh, uh, conozco. Uh, ese tú no vas a comer. ¿Cómo tú cocinas? Ese. Eh, sancochado y después freír. ¿No es para comer? Para comer, sí. ¿Comer es un animal? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué animal? No, ese de allá. De allá. Allá Santo Domingo. De Santo Domingo. Uh -huh. I have no idea what that is. They're frying it right now. But it smells absolutely horrid. Gracias. Okay, okay. It smells absolutely putrid, guys. Like it literally smells like they are cooking a pile of shit. Not to be disrespectful, it's just actually that's what it smells like. Whew, I need to get back in the car. Hola. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm chilling. All right, let's go. Ready? Uh-huh, I'm ready. Let's go, Kelly. Kelly. You got the home? All right, I'm getting a lot of looks for sure. Not only because I have a camera, but because I'm white. Bro, you just look like a badass. You look like a gangster. No. Swag. You try to do that for the people who respect you. Oh, swag. Uh -huh. You're gonna see Sean too. Okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sean the same way? No, he got long dread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. swag. That's why you make that because they selling corn? people scare you. That's the corn. Can you we, want to yeah, can we buy them? one corn? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Or half. Uh, Find some point. Guys, you have no idea. There's a there's a hundred Haitians staring at me. Oi! Oh no no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one, this one. 
Wait, how much, how much is a Haitian for a one US dollar? How much is that? That's, that's 20. That's 20 US dollars? Mm -hmm. 500 Haitian? Mm -hmm. Okay. So every 40. Oh, that's bad math. Every, every 100 is 4 dollars, so it's 25 is a dollar. Thank you. Merci. Check this. We're in the fucking random town in Haiti, bro. Stray dog. About 150 people staring at me because I'm the only white man. This corn's alright. It's kind of dry, but it's corn, so I like corn. That's my wife. Hi. Personne. Uh, I'm uh, Sam. Oui, je Wait, wait, no, no. You try to talk uh, French? No, no. Je parle français. Je. Hey, comment y a moi? Fuck. Allez, no, try no. to know. I got it. I know this. I know this. Un peu. Un peu. Uh, but, uh. <laughs> je parle français. Je. No, je t'aime. Je. Uh... Oh, I talk English. He understands. Some... No, but I want to say my name, but I forgot it. I said it earlier. <laughs> um. <coughs> Help me, help me, one word. Uh -huh. Help me, give me one word. Tell me one word. Je veux, no. je veux, no, je veux. remercier ton mari. No, my name. Uh, your name, Arab. No, how do you say it? Hein? My name is? Uh, say, huh? Je suis. Je suis, no, je suis. Je suis. Je, my name, my uh, name is. Je suis. Uh, je suis is I am. Uh -huh. Yeah, je suis Arab. 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 Yeah, oui. <laughs> I okay. forgot how to speak fucking French. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Okay. How are you? That's fine. You speak English? I'm not very English. That's my walker. That's my shop. It's a nice, really me have one shake. nice shop you got in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my shop. Moses is such a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of Haiti looks like this? No, not like this. But That's most of the road we've been on. Most, most, uh, most. Uh. Most of the road we've been on, it looks similar, you know. Most of Haiti looks the same. You got a, a bunch of houses. I mean, it's nothing really new. It's new for Haiti, but most of Haiti looks the same. You need to introduce me to a beautiful Haitian woman. I will marry her. You? Yeah. A Haitian woman. I know I know one word to say to her they teach me in Dominican. You know what it is? Uh-huh. Don't shh, close your ears. Coco, Coco Mandan. Coco? Mandan. Oh shit. <laughs> it's not good. Let me show you I shouldn't say that? Listen, that my shop. Let me show you. Turn Coco. That my shop. Let me show you my um, my my place to say. That's my shop. That's my shop here. That's my house over there. You that's see, your, that's th your house over there, the big one. Mm -hmm, the big one. No, they think they got the, they think the black tank and that. Yeah, the with black the black tank. tank. Yeah. And that, right? Like. Yeah. Uh, Wait, so I, I shouldn't say that? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say that? Uh -huh. Commandant, don't say it. Or say it. It's good. Say that. It's good. Say that. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me drink something here. Wait for me. That's my friend here. That's my friend here. Come on. Come on. That's my friend here. And I'll go drink something in that one. Hello. 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 Like I would normally in a video because today has just been another level of insanity stupidity whatever you want to call it 
But what I will say is that Haiti is quite beautiful so far. You know, all the videos I watched online said that it's completely brown, it looks brown from the sky, but everything I'm seeing is green. I mean, it, it, like, the buildings and stuff are old and not built because there's not much money in this country. Well, it, it all gets stolen. But look at that mountain, man. And it, it looks much worse on the camera as usual because my camera is very wide. But that, that's beautiful. That looks very heavenly. The sun, you know, behind the clouds, the green mountains, mountain ranges. Yeah, I like it. Haiti's beautiful. That's my town. That's your town. Yeah, that's my town here. So you going in downtown right now. And you run this shit. I don't like downtown because you got a lot of people okay. living over there. So sometimes. All right, see you later. Bye bye. This is Cap Haitian? Yes, this is Cap Haitian. Wow. This town. That's the fire station. Yeah. No, not fire station. The police station. Police station. Set passing it. I survived. What happened to me? What happened to me? I survived, bro. Welcome to Haiti. How are you? I'm having a prestige. Thank you for pulling so many strings to make this happen. I had to. That's how I fixed it. This is Sean. I'm glad I got out of Haiti. Sean is. Making sure we stay alive while we're here. Today has been a little bit rough. Accident, accident, accident. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Uh -huh. Hey, Mula, oh, oh got it, got it. Continue. We're good. We're alive. You sure you're okay? Yeah, we're alive. Bro. You're not hurting. No, I'm hurting, but I ain't a bitch. You told me. I ain't a bitch. And that surprised me when he said, I'm not a bitch, I'm coming anyway. <laughs> you here. Hello. Yeah. I'm very out of place. I'm gonna get a lot of eyes, huh? Oh yeah, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> this, this area here is called uh, Barcelona Bay. So those people are kind of supporting the, uh, the soccer Barcelona. Okay, right. So they create the oh, really? area here. That's where they watch all the Oh, they games. all watch Barcelona. Yeah. Oh, I'm not talking. Qui sait qui bagaille? Une passe c'est son problème, mon gars. Vous connaissez que depuis Michel, gros problème. Tout le monde là, gars, t'as compris? He's making fun of me right now. He said, he said when I messaged him while I was on the trail, he thought I was gonna die. Mais il connaît ça qui passe, Michel. Oh man, c'est je ne pas qu'à manger. Depuis ma tête manger, pas qu'à manger. Et au bas mon responsabilité. Oh fuck. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> How? He didn't eat it since this morning. No, yeah. Because he was stressful about you, you being able to cross. And then that he wanted to do everything that you wanted to do. What, what? And he wanted to bring you in. So, um... And then you were talking to him on the phone. He didn't negotiate anything. He didn't negotiate anything. He didn't negotiate anything. That's the problem. He didn't negotiate anything. He said, Lord, where are my two eyes? He did ask that you're not negotiating with the people at the border at immigration. Yeah. You should have come and meet him and then. Well, I couldn't. They wouldn't let me through. You're back here, Vinny. It's a fellow Cabo. Ah, man. Cabo. Hey, depot cigar. Pass it. Set the banco. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Let's get some. He smoked two pack of cigarette. And he drank seven small bottles of barbancos. Pour me, je simplement me fais ça parce que me pas avec. He's blaming me for his alcohol addiction. Me pas avec qui n'a rien arrivé. Vous connaissez pour pas arriver client. All right. Let's do. Let's get moving before it gets too dark. Job moi à bail. Maybe we eat somewhere. Let's do whatever we can do first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm, I'm in for it. What's up? What? Oh god, I have no energy. Get in the car? Yeah. Oh man. Feels good to finally get here. At the hotel. 
mal joué le mien encore. Il fait un manque et mal joué le mien encore. Ça veut du coup. Parce que je me disais que c'est toute la gaille en forme. Ça m'a fait quand même. Mais Nago, Nago, ça a aussi pour ça. Nago, imbécile. Je suis juste venu faire l'argent. En pile. Non, l'argent pour le Nago, je ne vais pas faire l'argent. Il va faire l'argent. Il va faire l'argent. Monsieur, tu fais un vieux la gaille au monde. Alors, oh, 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 je change le monde. Oui, je change le monde. Comment est-ce que le monde ça, non? Two rooms, yeah. Pas bon, hein. Monsieur, bel monde qui vit tout. Ouais, regardez, elle est si gauche. Hello. Ah oui, madame. You speak English? Hello, bitch. Oh yeah, check this hotel out. It's got a pool. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Very good. You have a press card? Oh yeah. I don't need a press card. I need one. Remember what I said? <laughs> remember, remember the saying I said? What was it? Um, what was it? You had a bitch. I had a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is Carpation. I mean, we both had to go through hell to get here. We did, we did. We have been chatting for months, okay, to end up here, maybe like a month and a half, multiple canceled flights, he drove all the way, he got on the bus and came all the way to Port-au-Prince, I had to get smuggled across the border, but we're in Cap Haitian now, and the vibes are good. Still, still running off no sleep, but I've noticed Haitian women are very, very beautiful. Very beautiful, I've noticed it, I was paying attention through the countryside. You're probably gonna have to talk with some, huh? Oh, I will definitely talk Woo. with some. Okay. We're walking through Camp Haitian now. Like a king. And by the way, everyone is staring at me. Not only the fact that I have a camera out, but the fact that I clearly am not from here. <laughs> yeah, they can tell you're not coming. You're from Haiti. Wait, why? Uh, look at your skin color. Oh, wait. Here. Oh, Are you you're racist? Not, no, you're a pop. No, 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 we're not racist. <laughs> I'm just playing. But well, we're about to explore Camp Haitian. You know, see some... Enjoy the party vibe today before we head into the deep gang shit. Yeah. I've had enough today, guys. I've had enough. Genuinely. One of the longest days of my life. What's up? Hey, you. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? How Check this. GMC? No. JMC. JMC? They got JMCs. Okay. This guy's gonna rap for us. This guy's gonna rap for us? But not here. Not, not here. Not here. We can't. The music. Let's do it here. No, the music's too loud. Alright, I'm leaving Sean for a second. I'm going towards the water. I want to see this Haitian water. Definitely one of the most run-down countries I've seen. In terms of the fact that we're supposed to be in the nicer part right now, that it still looks pretty beat down. We haven't even gotten to Port-au-Prince. The fact that it still looks like this is kind of crazy. But look at this beautiful water. The nature in Haiti is quite nice too. I might end up leaving Haiti with a Haitian wife, I'm gonna be honest. I heard a lot of things about Haitian women. All, all very positive. But remember boys, eyes on the prize. Women are a distraction, which you can partake in here and there, you know what I'm saying? Oh wow, look at that. So as soon as you get to the beach, right under the hill of the beach, is just trash. You couldn't see this from back there. You, you couldn't see this from right here. Look, look behind me. Beautiful mountains. Tropical trees, okay? Oh, yeah. It looks like that island vibe. The sun is setting. Water, wow, beautiful water. You get here, right? The pink skies. As soon as you peep over, it's just pure trash. Pure filth. More trash over there. I didn't even expect to see this. I was okay, coming here to see a nice beach. That's quite a huge part, but the thing is, we're right around the city. And the beach are located right up toward uh, this way. And that's why you will find the beach. And you will find um, a beautiful beach called Amiga Island. Okay. It's right in the middle of the sea. Very beautiful. 
and also we have where the crews would arrive and uh, how far is that that's about 20 minutes away from here oh really yes that's not bad at all. No, not at all. Should we go tomorrow morning before we go to... Yeah, we can do that tomorrow morning. Yeah, like and early? The first thing we do, we go to the uh, Amiga Island. Nice. And then uh, we'll visit around the beach area. Yeah. Cool. Have a nice yeah. breakfast on the beach. Is there food there? Oh, yes. And uh, usually what they do, they organize... You, you, you actually picked up your food on the sea. It's oh. Going oh. <laughs> I'm in. You I'm locked lobster, in. You fish, conch. Anything What's need. up there? Are those like slums? This is this. Uh, this is the slum area you see right here. That's like the slums. And then um, that. This is the hotel you're looking up there. It's Satama Hotel. Oh, that is a nice. It's a nice, beautiful hotel. Yeah, mm. beautiful yeah, vibes. Yes, it is. It's right in the mountain, and then you'll have a beautiful view of the whole uh, area of the downtown. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I believe that. So, are the slums in Port-au-Prince like this too? Oh, it's even worse. Oh really? That's nothing. Uh, okay, we don't even need to look at them yet then. We'll wait. We'll wait for the extreme hood shit until we get to Port of Prince. That's when we're gonna lock into the gang vibe. I'm telling you guys. After how long of a day today was on all ends, by the way. Okay, Sean was was solving stuff all the way from his end while in a bus. Uh, the guy getting me across the border was was trying to solve things, talking to you know 30 people, and then me. I had to go through the physically stressful stuff which by the way wasn't real all of me walking through that grassland was cgi i would never cross a border like that we went to a studio and we faked it just for the entertainment purposes <laughs> what are you making they're just gonna burn it oh they're gonna burn the wires uh -huh. after they're gonna put it at the balance to make some money wait they're gonna burn it uh -huh. What, burn the top oh, of it? The yeah, they're gonna keep the wire and the sell wire. the, the and copper. They, yeah. And uh, okay. They're gonna, they're gonna How much will this cost? Let me take this. That it should be make two dollars with this. So he has to have, burn it? Yeah, they're gonna And then he's gonna it. sell it for two dollars. Yeah, yeah. To survive, you, you can be see what 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 you see you see him? It's dirty. You do this every day? No, they, they just keep looking. They not do that every day. They just keep looking. Something. You're educated. You're very well educated. You got good English. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. I was at the orphanage. Sometimes if they don't find people, give them some money, and then they just looking for this, and then they're going to burn it. After they're going to go somewhere, they're going to put it in the balance, and then they, I don't know how do you say that in the... Yeah, off the weight. Be, Based off the weight. Believe. They say how much it weight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're going to do, but... Man, Let me see. It's so hurt. So I, I Damn, mean, all that for two dollars? Maybe, but that don't have a. That's not. It should be. You can't be demi -lib. How do you say demi? Demi uh, half one one. Half one. liter. Something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. How old are you? Uh, Kira nine. Kira Kira Ten. Ten. Ten years old. Yeah. Ten. You're feeling how they live here. I was at the nice, place nice place Louis Vuitton by the, kicks. By the I like them. Exactly. They got some nice restaurants here too. Hey, thank you, bro. Don't worry. Thank you for chatting with us. All right. By the way, everyone is looking at me like a target. Is that Portuguese music? No, that's Haitian music. Really? We call it Rabodai. Robert, yeah, Robert it die. Mix, it Rabodai. It mixed up with a little bit uh, African music, Cubans and Haitian all mixed up. Nice. Everyone wants money, right? They're saying that we're not allowed to film like that. So, so what's going to happen? Tell him let's have a friendly street fight. If he wins, I'll stop filming. Okay. <laughs> You just gotta keep moving, bro. You gotta keep moving. Everyone looks at you as like a money symbol. They're just like trying to siphon something out of you. So what's this, a shipyard? This is the shipyard? Oh, this is a custom here. The customs? Yeah. Oh yeah, the port. Yeah, that's the port. Does a lot of smuggling happen through here? In uh, Haiti? In that port? Just for the uh, <laughs> <laughs> Check this behind me. This is a river in Cap Haitian, Cap Haiti? Is Cap Haitian. This is a river in Cap Haitian, Haiti. A sewer river. And it is full of trash. And it's supposed to go directly to the sea. 
as you can see, the trash with all of this garbage in it overflows it. it overflows so that it stops right here. Yeah, it stops right here, and then the water will flow instead on the main streets. Wow. Yeah. So the sewage is all blocked up. Uh, I'm surprised that there's grass and like greenery around it. Uh, quite a insane place, to be honest. Also, I feel there's a is there a lot of pollution here? Oh, hugely. I feel the 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 yes, air is definitely heavier. And uh, you can tell. I mean. Yeah, yeah. You can you can feel the the fumes. Yeah. The air feels browner. A lot of a lot of dust. Interesting first day. I'm feeling the vibes though. Wait, can he clean my shoes? Yeah, he'll be able to do it. Yeah? Yeah, you can clean your shoes. No, you can finish first. No, you finish first. You can sit down. Oh, yeah. Let's see what he's got. Don't worry. Yes. It's my first day here. Yeah, after that, uh, that trip through the jungle, I need to clean these shoes. Let's see if he can. Study, yeah. yeah, let's see if he can make them like new. What are you telling them? I got smuggled in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see. Yeah. How do I say yes? Oui. Oh, oui, oui. Yeah. Français, oui. This is 70 goods. Okay. Yeah. No, this is uh, 50 goods. 50 goods. Yeah. So about 40 cents. That's about 40 cents, yeah. 40 cents to clean both my shoes like a beast. Hey, so be honest with me, Sean. Yes. With our conversations for the last six weeks. Yeah. Am I the craziest of the YouTubers you've met so far? You're one of them, actually. One of them? Yeah. Who, who comes close? Chris Mosley's. Chris Mosley's. Yeah. He's crazy. He's a bit crazy. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to look at your videos and I'm going to one-up them. I originally wasn't even supposed to be with Sean at this time. Somebody else was supposed to have him booked. But uh, they... They pussied out. They yeah, pussied they out. Yeah, they, what they did, they canceled the flight. They canceled because um, what happened is one of them was in the deal. He couldn't make it to um, Port-au-Prince because the flight in Port-au-Prince were canceled. And uh, the other one that was in the U.S., he could have come, but he didn't make it because they were draining to work together. Right. So if one couldn't make it, so they decided not to. Yeah, I had about two to three flights canceled, yeah. but that didn't stop me. Yeah, I'm making it anyway. to Haiti. Yeah, I'm making and it, bro. That guy was in the deal. He could do the same thing you did. But he was afraid. I ain't a bitch. You're a strong man. I respect you. No that's, fear. That's a nice way of saying it. I like to say, I ain't a bitch. Okay. You are not a bitch. Yeah. You're a strong man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these shoes look great. Way better than they were before, that's for sure. Merci. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll give you, he'll give you. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me more, please, case I'm that bad one. The way they talk. Thank you. Merci. The way they talk to each other is so funny. They just be yelling at each other. Oh, hi. How are you? Wait, what's what's this? What's he doing with this? What's that? Oh, that's the dog. What does that mean? The dog. The big dog. Oh, he's the big dog. But what is the purpose of this? Because he lost. Oh. He lost the bet. That's a loser. Ah, so you don't bet on money. The loser has to finish their. Uh huh. 
So they're playing dominoes right now in Haiti, and the loser, they don't bet on money. The loser has to pinch himself with clothespins. And it's actually hurt. For how long? Until the next game? Until he's able to win. and take. He doesn't have to win every time that he wins, he takes one off. Stop. One off. Yep. Oh, wow. And that's how they put it on. He lost. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> what a machine, bro. Have a good day, guys. What is she cooking right there? Huh? Oh, uh, that's ginger tea. Ginger tea? Yeah. Can we look at it? Can we try one? Or you think I'll get sick? You guys see it? Um, it's warm. Hey, what are we going to make? Yeah, it's boiled, right? Should be fine. What are we going to make? Come here, man. Ginger tea. Uh, Oh, she has to put it in a bottle? Yeah. It's gonna melt the bottle, no? Yeah, melt the bottle. Yeah, I'd rather definitely not. Can I at least look at it? I want to taste. Yeah. Let's taste it. I would definitely rather not taste it out of that. Brown salt. What's that? SSI. Oh, uh, that's that's the it's sweet, sugar. and then that's is that even tea or is that just that's the tea? Oh wow! You see, it's all they have all the leaves in it. Ah, uh, okay. We're about to try Haitian tea, Haitian ginger tea in the streets of Haiti, out of a yeah. I feel like it's gonna get me sick. Like it's warm, I don't think so. Honestly. But the cup itself. Yeah, the cup of it. That cup is so dirty, but I kind of want to try the tea. That one's clean. That one? Yeah, this one's good. This one's good. Okay, this one's clean. Nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, ginger tea. Ginger tea in the fucking bumfuck Haiti, man. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I said I'd stop drinking stupid shit after India. I think this might be worse. Is it good? It tastes pretty good. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> so hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, it tastes like delicious. Yeah, good. Wow. Ginger. That is so good. They even cook with ginger. And saffron and everything. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is amazing tea. Wait, so what is he eating it with? Bread? Bread, yeah. Really? Well, can we do that? Uh, would you like to? Yes, I would love to. Uh, we're about to do ginger tea and bread. She's giving... Oh, we're giving everyone bread? Yeah. Nice. Give everyone bread. Nice. Take one. Just a piece, yeah? Not the whole thing, yeah? Bang. Thank you. All right, pretty basic bread. All right, let's dip this bad boy in ginger tea. Bread dipped in ginger tea. If my mom saw me eating this shit, she'd freak out. Oh, wow. Very nice. Sean, this shit is good. You like it? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. This shit is good. Look at that. You like it, huh? That ginger tea is amazing. It is good. How much is it? This costs 100 good. No, this is a taste. They give us a taste. Oh, for free? For free. They just gave us a taste. They give us a taste. Really? What I bought was only the bread. bread. Yeah, I buy 100, 100 good bread for each of them. Sick. Yeah. Very minimalistic breakfast you could have. Ginger tea, piece of bread, tastes delicious. It's super sweet. Not too sweet, it has that spice to it, that ginger spice. Merci. Wow. Very delicious. How do I say very delicious? Ah, it's très bon. It's très, très bon. I need to remember my French. Très bon, délicieux. Oui, je suis de Paris. Je suis de connard. You're not a connard. <laughs> Hi, 
a very French architecture, yeah? Yes, exactly. This is all French architecture, and this whole town of Cap Haitian was built by the French during the 1700s. And well, then built it, by the Haitians. Yeah. Inspired Haitian by the French. Yeah. And um, also, it was burned down as well by uh, um, Henri Christophe. During oh, the a, king. A, yeah, 17, yeah, 1795 ish. It was burned down to prevent the French from um, take over Haiti again. Okay. Yeah. So that was during the French, uh, the, the Haitian revolutions against the French. So Haitians don't like the French? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Look at that balcony. Nice. And also the Haitians. Um, during 18, 18, um, 1800s, I was 1885-ish, no, 1830s, they sent three Haitian students to front to study architectures. And after the studies, they come back to Haiti and start building. Is this a stop sign? Yeah, right here. That's their stop sign in Haiti. Well, there's one here that's painted, but then there's one there that's not painted. Okay. Should we go this way? Yeah, let's go straight because there is a up there is um, uh, the cathedral. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I'd like to see that. Oh, these guys playing soccer. Oh yeah. Oh, let's go shit on them. No, no, we're going to do your job on YouTube. Oh, okay. Mr. 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 What do you say? I need some shit like you, this. You need some shit like this? Yeah. A camera? Yeah. Just rob me. <laughs> rob me, rob me. <laughs> <laughs> Pull like a knife out. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, have a good yeah. day. So behind me is a cathedral, Catholic cathedral. Here in the Capetian Square. It's getting a little dark. But I kind of want to check it out. Go inside. Hit a nice prayer or two, just to earn myself some points, safety points. God's been protecting me today, so I need to. So the square is quite alive. It's a weekday too. The square is quite alive. There's a lot of people here, but what you'll notice, that I just noticed, is that there aren't any lights outside. The only lights are on the cathedral or people's trucks, but the actual lights, there's no electricity. So the square is very, very dark. And it still hasn't gotten fully dark out, so I imagine it'll be much darker later on. But there's a lack of electricity here, that's for sure. Wow. They just be putting that on their heads. This is for oh, filling up water, yeah. Filling up water for laundry? This water is uh um let's say it's um they they purify the water okay. so that people would be able to drink it. So that's, ah, so that's a water purifier. Yeah, the and water. they sell it here, people come fill up their gallons yeah, exactly. every morning or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or any time. How much does a gallon cost? Fifty Haitian dollars. So so about forty cents. A gallon of water, a gallon of purified water, forty cents. Thank you. Is it open twenty four hours this thing? No, oh, this one will be closed around 8-ish or okay. 9 o'clock. And it opens early in the and morning. And Haitian is quite safe and there is no gang activities in Cap. So it's always safe. So you have the nightlife that is always going. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, people are just out in the streets. Music's bumping. It's a nice vibe. It, it smells like trash around a lot of the places just because of how much trash slash sewage overflows into the city. But overall, a very unique vibe. Right in front of you. Yeah. Overall, a very unique vibe to any country I've been to. 
Haiti feels different. It's like the stop signs here are just graffiti. This stop sign right here is for that road over there. Whereas, you know, in the US or wherever, first world country, the stop sign would be on the intersection. No, this one is all the way on the fucking wall, painted like a graffiti. What are they selling? Hello. Candy. Candy? Yeah. Are this Haitian candy? No, they sell my bro. Yeah? Anything Haitian here? Nope. No? Mint gum. Very worn Enjoy. down. It's been soaked in water. Come on, Ida. Um, okay, thank you. No, merci, merci. No, merci. It's very deteriorated. You definitely don't want to be chewing that gum. On my left, black trash water in the middle of the street. Oh, well, I'm so jumpy. Colorful houses as well. Was the taxi? I'm down to walk. How far is it? It's pretty far. Really? What, one mile? Two miles? I said it would be about 20 minutes walk. I'm down for a 20 minute walk. Yeah, that's only... Okay, I'm down. Let's do it. Good morning! It's the next morning. And today we're exploring the nice beaches before we head to Port au Prince to hang out with some of the gangs. You notice they're burning trash behind me in the middle of the street. Hello! They're burning trash in the middle of the street to get rid of the waste. It's 
It's crazy, as you drive through here, you see that everyone's got different kinds of hustles. You got people, look, digging gravel in the middle of the street. You got people washing cars. This person is sweeping, sweeping trash out of the middle of the street. Foreign exchange, literally just holding their cash stacks in the middle of the road. This girl carrying her load on her head. Check that out. Look at that beauty. That's Cap Haitian behind me. We're in the mountains now. We're headed towards the beach. But I wanted to stop and show you guys this shot behind me. So you have, I don't want to say like slum. The, the architecture here doesn't seem too slum-like or it's a different kind of slum. It's very uh, brick, cement bricks stacked up on each other that are unfinished. It's, Less metal shacks. There are some metal shacks, like metal roof shacks, but most of the architecture here, like the slum like architecture, is cement blocks that are just stacked and they're unfinished houses. It's a very different kind of vibe, but the view from up here is beautiful. You got the mountain ranges, you got the water, which which from far doesn't look as polluted as as is my English isn't working. Which from far doesn't I'm done. Doesn't look as polluted as it actually is. I just need to speak louder. I'm done. I'm done with this video. Let's go to the beach. What's up? I knew it. I knew it. Okay, let's bounce. We ready? Yep. You want water, there's one. No, I'm good for now. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We have to balance the weight, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to that little island on the top left? Yeah, we're going to uh, Amiga Island. Amiga Island. Amiga Island. We used to call it Rat Island, but we just changed the name because uh, we don't want our... Uh, rat Island? Rat, like the rats. Yeah. Yeah, we used to call it Rat Island, but we changed the name a couple of years ago. We called it Amiga Island. Amiga. We don't want people to just think there's rats in the island. Ah, okay. You, know? <laughs> you don't want them to think that it's an Indian island. Oh, the Indians have a lot of rats. They yeah. actually plays it, no? Huh? They actually please everybody. Yeah, they do. They love it. Yeah. <laughs> Check that, man. Oh, that? Check that. I feel like I'm in Thailand right now. Except there's a lack of lady boys, but... We make do with what we got. Bro, this water is beautiful. Oh yes, it's calm. It's also calm. Are there sharks in this? Oh no, we don't have sharks in Haiti. Really? No, never come across them. They're afraid of the gangs? Well, Oh, they came to That's shoot just... them. <laughs> That's funny. No, the thing is, we have too much reef. Reef, okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So they, it's, uh, it's difficult for them to get around. Right, right. So look, that's the tourist area. You know, they got their resort stuff, whatever it is. Yeah, it would take about three hours to reach it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Amazing. 
So we're right now we're getting towards the cruise ship so we can jump on and hijack it and take it over. We're role playing as Haitian pirates. Why so as soon as we get near there, we have a plan to storm the uh, the captain's room. I wonder if we can see anybody having sex on the edge right now. I think those two people were in, until they saw us coming. Well, we saw them coming first. <laughs> you know, I've never been on a cruise. If you guys want to see me go on a cruise, let me know in the comments. I feel like a cruise tour around Europe or something could be cool. So check this. Behind me are a bunch of homes. People who go make their money in America or different countries will come back to their country of Haiti and buy homes here. You know, it's their homeland, they don't want to leave it. So when they go make their money elsewhere, they come back and they purchase them along these beaches. Really a beautiful concept. I know many of my viewers are from America, so you guys, well, you guys probably understand that concept. You might have some ethnic background to you, but similar to, you know, what I have in Lebanon. We go back to Lebanon and we relax there as a, as a hometown. It's peace is what it is, it's peace. The, the ability to be able to turn off all these distractions that the West gives us and just come and enjoy nature. You know, enjoy the mountain ranges that God made. I've been really trying to appreciate God more, man. You guys saw it at the beginning of this vlog. You know, you, you really saw it at the beginning of this vlog. That car accident. Are we out of gas? No, 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 we good. Oh God, another, another disaster? Oh man. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look at that. As soon as you pray, the boat turns back on. But look at these beautiful mountain ranges. This is Haiti, guys. This is Haiti. The only thing you've seen of Haiti is an old video of some cannibal. This is Haiti, man. Look at that beautiful, stunning blue water. Mountain ranges. Oh, wow. I really need a wife. Let's be honest, though. If I brought a wife here, she'd get raped. Not to this part. This part, she'd be good. description and you click his link and you hit him up yeah, man. <laughs> guys I am literally in the middle of the sea right now in Haiti we're in the middle of the sea and I'm standing I'm standing in the middle of the Haitian Sea man look at that there's mountains behind me there's fishermen right there fishing but there's this part in the sea where the sand is much higher and you can literally just walk in the middle of the sea. I feel like I should be saying a prayer right now. Is this what Jesus felt like? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at this, man. 
The middle of the fucking sea! Uh, it's just very exciting for me. It is very exciting. We started all the way back there, near where that cruise ship was. And look, all around me, completely all around me, is pure sea. This is, this is so mind-blowing to me. And look, just for reference, I'm going to show you guys, because it might have been hard to see from that angle down there. But this is where we are right now. In the middle of the sea. That is exactly where I was standing. Check that. Mountains are so far away. So far away. This is Haiti, man. This is Haiti. Just trying to soak in as much nice as I can of this country to see both sides before I go and spend some time with the gangs. You know, before we see some real ratchet hood shit. Oh wow. Oh wow. We're on a random island, little tiny island here in Haiti called Rat Island. Well now they call it Migo Island because they don't want to call it Rat Island no more. There's definitely uh, some trash that washes up on these beaches. But just being out here, like, ignore that. I mean, that, fuck the trash. Just being out here, man, with this crystal clear blue water, you know, nature, touching the sand, grounding. It's actually amazing. Wow, man, wow. Yeah, I don't really drink anymore, but I would drink here. <laughs> Learn to appreciate life. Yo, what are these seats in the middle of the? What's all that? That was a custom that was here. That's where, where the, the boat is stuck. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. There's a little boat dock over there. Beautiful, man. All this is missing is a nice, fine babe. You know, a, a wife. Explore these places. You know, come grab some friends. Get your ass over here to the Haitian islands and just chill and enjoy life for a little. Forget about everything. I've been trying to relax more. You guys know all the gang shit that I do. Head's always on a swivel usually in those videos. It's nice to be able to just come to a place like this and chill. Man, it is so beautiful. How are you? What up? <laughs> How are you? Good. Do you live here? Yeah. Wow, what a it's life. The one that uh, makes sure that the area is clean. Right. So you can you can come here to this island and actually, you know, do stuff. You can bring your food, you can... They don't sell food here, right? You'd have to bring it? You have to bring it. Yeah. So you can bring your own stuff. There's literally just a tiny mini island. So the sand is very nice here. The water is also very warm. When the waves hit you, like, nothing changes. When the waves hit you, nothing changes. It just feels like a cool breeze that's hitting you. But that's basically the entire island. That's it for day one of being in Haiti. We've shown you guys the nice parts. In the next video, you're gonna see me hanging out 
with the most dangerous gangs in Haiti. I just, I felt that if I was gonna show that side, I needed to come and show the nice side. So, thanks for watching. Extended cuts on ArabUncut.com. Peace. Behind me is a tropical paradise here in Haiti. Is what I would say if I didn't turn 180 degrees and show you right behind me how full the beaches are of trash. It is just trash all the way down. Just trash and more trash. If you only saw this, you can mistake it. We're in Cap Haitian right now. We're about to rent a car and drive all the way to Port-au-Prince where 3,600 prisoners just broke out of prison. And there's a coup d'etat taking over the country right now in hopes to interview the most notorious gang leader and most dangerous person in this country. This country is fucking insane, man. So much, look at this, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> On the beach too? I'm currently at the Cap Haitian airport in the north of Haiti. It's completely closed since the prison break about one week ago. And we've been trying to rent a car to get our ass to the south of Haiti. I'll put a picture on the screen of where we're headed. I don't want to say it out loud because I don't want any of these people that we're renting a car from to tell us, hey, you can't rent it because you're going to this place. So we finally found a car. We are renting this car right here. A Nissan Xterra. Because the road to get where we need to go is very rocky. Okay, we're leaving in the morning. But check this. The car is like completely busted. The windshield is cracked. This, all safety standards in the USA would not pass them. Okay, even the back is pretty roughed up and destroyed. But, that's a good thing. That is a very good thing because then, they're not gonna charge us if some shit happens to the car because it was already there, buddy. So, that's the situation right now. Zero flights leaving the country. The fact that I'm even in this country right now is insane, but we need to go right now to the slums of Port-au-Prince. Don't say that out loud. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Wait, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. <laughs> All right, in order for them to rent us the car, I, didn't, I couldn't tell them that we were going to Port-au-Prince. They would not even rent us the car, so I had to tell them that I'm going halfway. Anyway, area call me ballet. It's not even uh, in the port prince area, so that's why they were able to rent us the car, because everyone afraid to go to uh, port prince No one wants to go to port prince Yeah, so but that was a trick. we're going. <laughs> we going. And not only are we going, we're going in. <laughs> we are going in. Cap Haitian, guys, we're in Cap Haitian. Is this cheese? Are they selling cheese? And it's not refrigerated? I love this. This will kill you. You eat this shit, you're getting a stomach ache. Oh yeah. I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want. Maybe crackers. Yeah, like dry crackers. What'd you call me? No, no, maybe crackers, I said. <laughs> you think I call you cracker? You're gonna burn me in the middle of the street and eat me like that video? <laughs> you wanna eat crackers? <laughs> what happened? How much? Five? Do you have five? I know this guy. What's he doing? What's he trying to say? He's the owner of the car. Are you still going to rent it to us? I believe so. There is a, there is two cars. That's not the only one we have here. Bro, well, everyone's always yelling in this country. They just yell. They just be yelling at each other. It's like any country that speaks French, they're just so fucking angry. Hello. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Did we just see two two lizards having sex? Yeah, they're having it. They're having it. Do it, do it, do it, man. There's no way we just walked in on two lizards having sex. <laughs> like this has got to be one of the most wild things. Two lizards are having sex behind me right now. 
Mobile sex too, yeah? They're moving. Is that rape? <laughs> One's trying to run away? No, it's good. That's good. It's so good, man. It's too good. <laughs> Give it to her, man. Oh, Haiti gets you all kind of things, man. <laughs> what a lucky woman. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, you're gonna have to leave your passport. Oh, no way I'm leaving my passport. He can take a picture of my passport, but I'm not leaving him. I can't risk I can give him my ID, which has my info on it, but not my passport. He said it's the passport because the passport is a guarantee. Yeah, no, I get that, but my passport. Oh, all of them Yeah, but giving my passport to a company versus giving my passport. Yeah, that's completely different. So, guys, completely different. And I open you. So they're giving us issues with renting the car now. They're saying they want my passport as a guarantee that we're gonna return the car, which makes sense, right? If it was any one of these companies which are official companies, but all these companies are closed down. So we're renting it off from a random dude that's just sitting here. I'm not giving him my fucking passport, okay? I'm a white dude in Haiti who shouldn't even be in Haiti right now. That's my one escape out of this country is my passport. So I can't let go of that, no matter what. That would probably be the dumbest thing I would do is give away my passport. I'd still, you know, find a way to get out of here because I know a guy, but I'm trying not to get my passport here. So, you know, it's, um, they are both of them businessmen and they rent their cars. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna say that he's gonna drop us home and he's gonna rent us one so they don't create any confusion among them. Ah, uh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so you agreed with the other guy? Yeah, I'm agreeing with That I don't need to get my passport? Yeah, he's just passport. gonna take this identification gonna... card? Yeah. So I'm gonna give him one of my IDs. And then we're good. I don't have to get my passport. And it doesn't look like he stole the business. Got it. Got it. Good. Hey. Good teamwork. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you know him? Yeah, yeah. Nice. What's that on the floor? Where? That's a pump. For the wheels? Who is that pump? Who buy it? Stop. Stop. Let's do it. It's the same car. It is, but I don't know, man. You don't think it'll last? We'll move back at the sun. Can we drive it? A little one turnaround? Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, let's drive it. Hey, I can drive, you can drive, it doesn't matter. You wanna drive? Unlock this bad boy. What I have noticed about all the cars in Haiti is that they're all fucked. Yeah, man. None of the cars open from the outside. Man, is good. They all have to open from the from the inside. They're all like modified. They're not actually the real car, it seems. A lot of different modifications on the cars. You think it'll make it? I think so. Ask them to be honest. Will it make it? Or will it? Nice, let's do it. This is a wild trip, my friend. It's gonna be wild, man. Yeah, it's, it's only getting wilder. Alright, what is that? 285 US dollars to fill up our gas tank from empty. So we are given the tank completely empty. The car is absolutely destroyed. Yeah, look at that. Everything, everything is broken in this car. Like you can see literally inside the car's wires. Guys, Haiti is another world. But we got the car secured. Yeah. We're already in, bro. Let's do it. Fuck it, $300. Let me make sure I have that money. It's really $300 to fill up a car like that, bro? Yeah, and port is cheaper because gas is cheaper than port I have 200. And I 
have some Haitian. I have 200 and I have 3K Haitian. Do you still have the... I have some goods, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Guys, I'm getting rinsed in Haiti. Guys, $285 to fill up the entire tank. Hey. That's how fucked Haiti is. Have you ever paid 285 US dollars to fill up your gas tank? That's how much we just paid. $285 to fill up my fucking gas tank. Behind me is a gas station, guys. This is a gas station. The gas station doesn't actually have a pump. All the pump, the metal scraps of it have been stolen. There's no pump in the gas station. It's just a stand. Look at that. Completely empty trash. But at least the rooftop is like an advertisement like, oh, we do fill up gas here because they do. But it's not through the pump. It's through pouring it through a bottle through a can, through a hose. They have an entire contraption built for filling up gas. It's a little funnel that they made with a bottle. Yeah, look at it. Oh, is this what it's gonna take to fill <laughs> yeah, this up? Yeah, it's all of it. This is Damn. seven gallon. Seven. Oh, that's empty. That's half of the this is $285 worth of gas in Haiti, guys. And this is not me being scammed. This is not white people pricing. This is how much it actually costs. This country's absolutely fucked. You gotta spend most of your money on gas. That's why you see so many motorcycles. Wow. What are you selling? What is this, Nigeria? We. Oui. Oui. Dominican? Oui. Haiti, Haiti, Haiti? Anything Haiti? Uh, same but Haiti. No, this is Dominican. No, do you have Haiti? Haiti, Haiti. You have no Haiti? No. No Haiti. How much? Meal? It's saying this watch is eight dollars. Okay. I'm trying to think, I kind of want to buy something. Aha! We all know what this symbol means. This is just the watered down version of it. I'll take this. How much? Six thousand. How much? Six thousand. Thanks, huh? Five hundred. Okay, let's do it. 500. I'm doing it for the Palestinians. I'm doing it for the Arabs. I'm going to give this to my future wife. She better be based enough to wear this. Anyways, that whole time they're still filling up gas. In order to fill up this entire truck, it takes three people. They have to assembly line it from one container to the next to the next yeah what the fuck they're wasting our gas no they're putting less oh really yeah that's like ten dollars of gas they just threw on the ground fuck, do we look like we're made of money just because we're white that's not ours that's them that's them that's their guys oh okay <laughs> we're counting what they're putting inside whatever fall in the ground that's them <laughs> so they've been filling up gas for about five to ten minutes now. Uh, more so, just a message that I want to give you guys is, you know, be thankful for what you got. We we travel a lot, you know. We show you guys the world, but I always like to leave some sort of message, something to learn. Look, you got four guys on the back of a truck right now, with ten other inside that truck. In order to fill up gas, okay, they have to grab three containers, you know, sit here filling it up for 10 minutes straight, when you can just walk up, put it, your fucking pump on, and then you're chilling. Going to these countries, it makes you realize how thankful you should be for what you got. From when I first started traveling to now, I've become much more thankful, much more aware of how blessed I am to have grown up in a country that doesn't have all these issues. Because the country I grew up in causes all these issues. <laughs> Are you counting everyone? Oh yeah, of course. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I don't even gotta worry. Sean's counting every gallon so we don't get gypped. Bro, there's eight people in a tuk-tuk right there. 
One dude's carrying gas. Crazy shit. Crazy shit here, man. Yeah, watch that meter go up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Watch that meter go up. Woo! It's going, it's just slower. Stop. No, it's going, it's going. It's going, it's going. No, it's stop. Probably there's a problem with the meter. Alright, off to Port of Prince. Guys, this is some of the craziest shit I ever seen. There's an entire market on the beach. That beach of trash that I just filmed, there's an entire market of, of tents and umbrellas. Like behind there is literally the water. I'm not gonna walk through it because I'm not really in the mood to walk through it. I just wanna get the fuck to Port au Prince and film these gangs, but yeah, there's an entire market and everyone's also staring at me. So I'm gonna get my ass back in the car. All right, they call me Blanc here, which means white. Literally every single person is staring at me. So yeah, I'm going uh, I'm to be a good boy and get my ass straight back in this car and go hang out with some gangs instead. Every fucking person's looking at me. Who is that gringo? <laughs> so we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. and if we leave right now, we'll get there while it's dark. It's about a six hour road trip. We'll get there while it's dark, and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't want to be dealing with the gangs, even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're going to be leaving at 3 in the morning. I just really wanted to show you guys the view from this hotel. We are the only people in this entire hotel. Everybody else is workers, employees, etc because no one's allowed into the fucking country. So there's no tourists here, but I have the entire hotel to myself. Look at that view, man. You got the mountain range. You got the sun setting. Okay, you have entire Cap Haitian over here. And we've got a pool, which I wasn't gonna take advantage of, but how many times in your life are you the only person in an entire hotel? Because the country's completely shut down no one should be coming in, and you're just a retarded YouTuber. I feel like we gotta take advantage of the pool. Look at that, man. This YouTube video is literally about us meeting gangs. But instead, here we are in a beautiful hotel. Completely empty. Completely, completely empty, man. Look at that. Holy shit. I've been calling everybody on my, you know, close friends phone list, all my close friends, my family. I've just been showing them this because this is truly a wild experience. Alright, let's do it. Let's swim. Let's fucking swim, boys.